Is this the key rework that we've been waiting for? There's a lot of new changes coming in with the mid-chapter patch. Stay watching if you want to find out what they are. Hey there guys, my name is Earth to Lydia. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Today I'm going to be talking about the PTB that went live the other day. For those of you that don't already know, this is the PTB for the mid-chapter patch, which we can expect to see in the next few weeks. And with the mid-chapter patch, we have seen quite a few changes that you guys are going to want to be aware of. But before we get into the video, I do stream Dead by Daylight content five days a week over on Twitch. So if you want to interact with me live, ask some questions about this kind of thing and see the footage for yourself, you can do so over at twitch.tv forward slash earth to Lydia. Anyway, let's get into it. One of the first and most noticeable changes is that keys can no longer open the hatch if they don't have any charges. So as long as you can guarantee that the charges get drained, Franklin's is now a direct counter to keys again. Another very interesting change. So sound modifying perks now multiply the sounds that are already there rather than adding to them. So some of you may know about Strider, which is a perk that increases noises that survivors make, making their breathing and grunts of pain a lot louder to the killer. But now Iron Will will keep you completely silent against Strider. Also add-ons such as swing chains, which increase the survivor's sound, are being slightly changed with Strider too. Another change that's going to be coming in is that any perks or add-ons that make the survivors louder will only be heard from the killer's perspective now. So there is no way of being able to tell if they have a noise increasing perk or add-on in the game. We've also seen a few surprise character model reworks which weren't revealed before, including some licensed characters. So of course, we've had all of the other survivors teased before, namely Dwight, Meg, Jake, Claudette, Ace, David, all characters that are unique to Dead by Daylight. However, with this mid-chapter patch, we are also seeing facial reworks for Laurie, Tap, and Quentin. These are the ones being shown on screen now, and I've got to say I'm very impressed by some of these. The Quentin rework is something that has been long awaited, and I think they did a great job with it. Also a quick update on the community goals that we have for collecting crowns. We did hit the second stage of targets, and we've therefore been granted another code to unlock the headpieces for both David and Wraith. If you haven't redeemed this code already, go to the in-game store and type in better than none. Anyway, that is going to be all from me for the one video. I hope you liked this brief update. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments so I can keep on making content like this. As always, I will be linking my social medias in the description, including the link to my Discord server. We're going for Discord partnership this year, so I would greatly appreciate anybody that joins the server. It would really help us out. And I want to thank you all, as usual, for making it this far into the video. Until next time, take care, guys.